Hello students, uh, today we will study reflection from the chapter ray optics. Reflection is the phenomenon of bouncing back of light from shiny polished surfaces. So any surface which reflects properly reflects light is called a mirror. Now there are different types of mirrors. There is concave mirror, convex mirror, plane mirror in simple words. Then what is a concave mirror? is like this the first figure shows here the concave mirror uh, back side of it here is uh, opaque and this surface over here is reflecting surface at the same time in the convex mirror In the convex mirror, it will be the opposite way. That is, uh, the surface over here. This surface over the left side is mirror part, and this part is inside here. It is opaque. It will be either silvered or painted, and to make it opaque. At the same time, in this uh, figure over here, this is a plane mirror. So, in a plane mirror. What you can see is one of the surfaces is uh, again uh, opaque and the other surface is reflecting. So we can say this surface over here is uh, opaque over here because our object is over here. Now you can see uh, in a plane mirror the rays fall on the mirror they get reflected back from a point where uh, at the same distance as from the uh, object. You can see the image is formed virtually and upright upright image is formed virtually on the back side of the mirror. Now coming to the laws of reflection. Now, there are two laws actually. The first law is angle of reflection is equal to angle of incidence. And the second law is the incident ray normal and the reflected rays at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. So this is the incident ray, the ray which uh, passes and uh, through the first ray which falls on the surface of the mirror is called the incident ray. Uh, then the reflected ray over here and you can see the normal. Normal is normal to the mirror. It should be 90 degree to the mirror. So what you can see here is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection. These two angles are equal to each other. I is equal to R. We can say I is equal to R. <coughs> now there is a relation between the parameters uh, called focal length and radius of curvature. So we will come back and see what is meant by uh, radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. You can see the mirror is only just a part of a sphere. So that sphere's center is called center of curvature and the distance to the center of curvature from the pole of the mirror. This is called the pole of the mirror. So from the uh, pole over here to the center of curvature what is the distance that is known as the radius of curvature both ways it is the same now what is focus focus means it is the uh, place where all these rays are uh, passing through after reflection that point is not that's a fixed point that point is known as the focal focus and the distance from the pole to the focus is called focal length Now, coming uh, back to the question, relation connecting radius of curvature and focal length. What you have to assume is there is a light ray BA uh, passing and falling on the mirror uh, surface AP. So, you can see this side, uh, the back side of the mirror can silver. This side will be silvered, back side. And uh, this B, B A is the ray of light. It reflects through F. Okay, reflector ray is F. 
then what is AC? AC is the normal because any straight line passing through the center of curvature of a mirror will be perpendicular to the mirror. So you can say the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence is nothing but the angle between the incident ray and the normal. And angle of reflection, it is the angle between the uh, reflected ray and the normal. They both are equal according to the rules of reflection. Now, as you know, th these two rays, that is BA and CN are parallel to each other and AC is a transversal. So, the angle theta over here will be repeated over here also because they are alternating later angles of a transversal. Now, this is 2 theta because, you know, there is a triangle over here. Theta, theta is the angle on that. And this is the exterior of the triangle CFA. So, this angle will be the sum of these two angles, that is 2 theta. Now, this theta or 2 theta, they are very small angles. So, still what you will be find is, we will find the uh, from triangle, from triangle CNA, CNA, we will find out what is uh, tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to An by uh, CN. Similarly, uh, in triangle FNA tan 2 theta, we will find out that is again AN divided by FN. But let us assume this is approximately is equal to theta and this is approximately equal to 2 theta. Since you, as I said to you, uh, the angles are very small, so no need of taking tan over there. So, what we can do is, we can write theta's measure, that is An by Cn is equal to 2 times, this one's 2 times is equal to, what we say, uh, we will take 2 theta, that is An by Fn. So, an, an is a common factor, it get cancelled, we get 2 times fn is equal to cn we get. What is fn and cn? You can find out from the figure. This is called fn, that is f, and this is known as cn, that is r. So, what we say finally, 2 times f is equal to r. So, this is the relation or connection between focus length and radius of curvature. Okay, now we will do the mirror equation. It's again a derivation. So, here in this figure you can see there is an object called AB. Then there is, uh, there is the Im image formation happening here after reflection from the mirror. So, AM is the incident ray, one of the incident ray. AP is another incident ray. AC is another incident ray. AM is parallel to the principal axis and it passes through the focus. AP is a ray which falls on the pole of the mirror and it will reflect through the same angle of incidence. And uh, AC is passing through the center of curvature so it will retrace the path. So all of them joins at the position A dash and A dash B dash is the incident meaning uh, the image of AP, which is a inverted image, uh, small image, okay, diminished image, we can say. And the distances over here, it is marked in the figure, it is F, FP is F, A dash uh, P is V and BN is U, U meaning the object distance, V meaning the image distance and F is the focal length. So, in the figure, we have to choose uh, two similar triangles. So, I am choosing A dash B dash F, this small triangle over here as one of the uh, triangle. It's similar triangle, we can say FMP. So, you may ask, this is a curve, why we are taking? But if you draw a perpendicular from this point M to this over here, it is falling just near to P. So, that means FMP is a right triangle. 
like a dash b dash f so you can see the similar triangle properties can be used and uh, i'm not going into that geometrical part of it so i'll do here a dash b dash f and which one you have to take is f mpf we can call mp f as the triangle uh, then another set of triangle so from this triangle we can write a dash b dash uh, divided by mp is equal to b dash f divided by pf okay so this is our equation number one now similarly there is another uh, set of triangle we can take as uh, similar triangles that that is this pair that is abp triangle abp and triangle a dash b dash b triangle a dash b dash b so in that if you take the ratio of sides it is a dash b dash divided by you can see here this one similar side is ab over there so ab is equal to which side we will choose uh, b dash b isn't it b dash b divided by bp so this is our second equation okay now you know this ab the length ab and mp are equal so a b m p equal uh, from that we can see that a dash b dash by m p is repeating on the left side okay so rhs can be equated is yes, uh, we will take the rhs equation uh, that is b dash f by fp is equal to b dash p divided by bp for this we have to give measures now b dash f so you can see here b dash f doesn't have any uh, as solid measurement so what you have to do up to here the distance is called v up to here this distance is called f so the rest the leftover distance is v minus f so b dash f is equal to v minus f divided by fp fp is nothing but the focal length is equal to uh, p dash p p dash p is the image distance image distance is called v and bp bp is known as the object distance that is u now what you have to do is uh, we will apply sign convention over here and then proceed so you can see all these measures are uh, on the left side of the mirror that means where the object is there from there the rays are moving in this direction but we know that the measurements should be always done from the pole of the mirror to that particular points according to sign convention so here the distance pb the distance pf the distance pc pb dash all are negative distances so whatever distances we have taken here all of them are negative distances so what we will do we will take minus of v minus f because it is on the left side minus f because it's a concave mirror minus v because it's on the negative side again minus u so all the terms are having negative signs so it will all can get cancelled and you can do uh, v minus f into u is equal to vf then you open the bracket and then what we have to do is we will divide this equation by uvf the product uvf so let us imagine this uh, equation number is 3 and this equation number 3 we will divide by the product uvf so first term is vu so when you divide by uvf you get 1 by f remaining uh, minus next term is uf so the term will be 1 by v is equal to next term after the equal to sign is vf 
it will be 1 by u. So when you change the sides, it will be 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by f. 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus sorry, 1 by v. So this is our equation, mirror equation. Now coming to magnification. Magnification is how much uh, big in size the image has become or how much small it became after reflection. That is called magnification. So magnification, uh, linear magnification m, how we find is, it is the size of the image to the size of the object, meaning hi by ho, or it is also equal to v by u. In this case, as we saw, it is minus v and minus u there. Then height of image is below the uh, principal axis, so we get minus hi. But the object is standing above the principal axis, so it is plus h. So there are three negatives. So the final equation will be uh, minus. Okay, so m is equal to m is equal to minus v by u. You get. So this is the uh, equation of magnification of a mirror.